Hey there! Today I've got a review of the Toys R Us exclusive Punisher Warzone um, Mini Make 2 pack. I picked this up at Toys R Us for about $7 um, just last weekend. Um, it's definitely a really nice 2 pack. Um, they also have a 4 pack out there that comes with these two figures and then it also comes with a uh, uh, like a generic thug and then a Frank Castle and like an overcoat but these were the only two figures that I really cared about so I just got the two pack um, take a look at the box real quick we got the Punisher um, right there Jigsaw with his messed up face and eye and everything right there and the sticker says Toys R Us exclusive um, as you can see it says Punisher Warzone up there um, the back, you got a lineup of all the figures in the series. You know, your typical Mini Mate package. Um, now, what I think is weird a little bit is that they used pictures from the comic books um, here instead of from the movie. Um, maybe they couldn't get rights to the actor's likeness or whatever, but um, I just thought that was kind of strange that since it, they were based on the movie that they didn't use movie pictures. Um, but first, I'll start off with Jigsaw. Here he is. Um, you know, he's just got his plain white on beige um, clothing combination. Uh, his messed up face, just like on the packaging. Can't really see that too well. I'm sorry, but it's a nice, nice facial print or whatever. Um, his hair comes off. It's got his hair is a. Uh, pretty stylish, I guess, um, and something that's kind of interesting is they actually put an extra piece on here to extend his shirt, since he's, uh, wearing, like, an, a button-down that's not tucked into his pants, I guess they wanted to make it look a little longer, um, so that's kind of nice. He does not come with any accessories, but as you're about to see, the Punisher comes with enough accessories that you could let Jigsaw borrow a few if you wanted um, for display or whatever. But uh, here's the Punisher. Um, he's, like I just said, he has a ton of accessories. Um, his face is well printed or sticker, whatever. I don't know what to say. Um, but, you know, it's nice looking. His hair is a totally new piece. Um, it's, it's not the best hair, but it's pretty accurate to the movie, um, you know, it's not my favorite, but I don't hate it, um, he's wearing his armor or whatever, I forget what it's called, but it's the thing he wore at the very end of the movie when he killed all those people, has weapons all over it, um, you know. The skull's printed on there nice, um, looks good, looks kinda aged, or worn, whatever. Like, it doesn't look like it was just printed on there, um, so that's nice. His accessories he comes with are as follows. He has two dual pistols that, um, I have in his hands. You can also put them in the holsters right there on the vest, if you want. And then on his back, he has two rifles, or machine guns, whatever, um, that just peg into the back, right there. Um, pretty nice. Then he also has this, um, knife in a sheath that you can plug in there. And then he has, on his side, he has a revolver and a nightstick, right here, like what a cop would carry. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's, that's seven weapons right there. Um, seven accessories. Very nice, especially for a mini-mate. Um, if you want to count the sheath and the armor, you could take the armor off. And the two holsters, that's a total of eleven accessories, if you, if you want to count those additional pieces. So, um... You know, if I can get him to stand. Definitely 
worth the money. Um, a great buy. Very happy with it. Um, the two figures look great. Even if you haven't seen the movie or if you don't like the movie, these would still be good to buy. Because, you know, you can't really distinguish between mini mates from films and mini mates from comic books. So you could buy these guys and use them as a comic book Punisher and Jigsaw for display or whatever if you wanted to. Um, definitely a good buy. I would totally recommend it. That's all. Goodbye.